People who tell you that modern wealth is due to the subsidy of cheap fossil fuel are wrong. They're telling you that if we stop burning coal, we'll freeze in the dark. I much prefer to believe that modern wealth results from the ingenuity and hard work of a free people, and that before we run out of oil, we'll invent the technology of the energy for the 21st century, and that our future is bright. Join me. Uh, as a, instead of a closing statement, uh, I guess I'd, I'll make my closing statement more respond to what Scott just said. I'm not sure where Scott's coming from because that last uh, soundbite there I agree with. I, I do think that free markets are going to solve this problem. But free markets are not the government taking increasing amounts of money and deciding, <laughs> and deciding what should be invented when. Uh, you know, energy, one reason why ExxonMobil, at least in good times, makes so much money is because everyone needs energy. You know, we need energy for everything we do. There's already a huge financial incentive to find new competitive energy technologies. I believe in the free market, as does Scott, uh, to accomplish that, and I think it's going to happen. I think there are potential solutions in the long term. I don't think we'll ever reach not only four times CO2. I don't think we'll reach three times atmospheric CO2. I, we may not reach double atmospheric CO2, but we probably will. Um, because I think technology is going to come along and we'll re reduce our CO2 emissions. Now, I further think that the global warming concerns will gradually go away as a lack of warming ensues in coming years. Uh, you know, that will pretty much kill the whole thing. But, you know, as long as we're talking about hypotheticals, um, you know, there is an asteroid out there <laughs> that could theoretically hit your house, Scott. And, and I think you really should at least plan for the future and, you know, do something about that possibility. My point is, is that everything we do involves risks and benefits. Every decision a human makes involves risks and benefits, including lifting your fork and eating lunch, you know, because you may die from choking to death. Uh, you know, everything's risks versus benefits. And the thing that annoys me the most about those who complain about the potential risks of fossil fuels is they do it from such a comfortable position of, of benefits, you know. We had the tornadoes here uh, a month or so ago in North Alabama. We were lucky. I don't think I lost a twig in my yard. But most of North Alabama did lose their electricity. And when you go for days without electricity, you realize this is a state you do not want to live in, you know. Uh, and yet over one billion people in the world still live that way without electricity. I'm in favor of, uh, of them have, ha having access to electricity. And for those that are ultimately concerned about population growth, they should agree with me because it's the only, only the poor nations of the world that cause population growth in the world. If we can bring everyone into the 21st century, population growth will be reduced probably close to zero. And that's the ultimate concern, I think, of, of most environmentalists, at least the more radical ones, is that the, the earth can't carry this many people, which I think is wrong, but obviously there is an upper limit. Well, you know, if you want to if you want to keep the earth from getting populated by too many people, if if there is such a thing, then uh, encourage other nations to become prosperous as well. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberty, and more videos like this one. Mm -hmm.